Hi guys, welcome back to our channel, Life with Tammy and Dean. Please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications of new videos. Please click like and comment below. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today's video, we're gonna be putting up our Summer Waves Elite pool frame. And we had bought this last year and set it up. And so this year we decided we'd film our setup. So I've already taken some still pictures of laying down the mat that we put down on the ground and also laying the pool out. We've already laid out the black mat that we put on the ground for the pool and then we put the pool on top of that. We spread out the pool and it's pretty warm today so it's really pliable, easy to move around. So we've done that and the next thing we're going to do is put the metal poles in the sleeves. Then we're going to put the tees in the corners and then after that we'll put the legs on. It's all situated and straight on our pad. So we've put all the tee fittings in and we've got those attached and we put the little pins in that hold the tees together and so now we're going to put the legs on. We've got to straighten it just a little bit to make sure they're on the footing blocks but we'll turn it get it all aligned here and then we'll put the legs on. So the one trick is once you get the tees lined up with the blocks you go ahead and slide your post in but you slide it through the sleeve on the bottom which holds the pool shape once it starts getting water in it. So we've got one in and we're going to start going all the way around. In the bottom of the tee there's two holes and on top of the leg there's two pins. And so you slide the leg in, snap the pins in, and it holds it all together. So what we did is we went ahead and we put every other leg in. So if you do every other leg, it's a little bit easier to start. And then you just go back, and after you've kind of got it straightened with the blocks, then you can go back in and fill in the missing legs. So now, as you can see, we've put all the intermediate legs in. We've straightened it around so they more or less align on the concrete. And the next thing we have to do is we'll have to get in it. We're starting to fill it with some water and we'll get in it and smooth it out from the inside, working our way to the edges. So as you can see, we're filling it up. We've got in it and we've got about, looks like about four inches of water in it now. And we've leveled it out, got most of the wrinkles out, and as much as we could get out. And it's pretty level all the way across, so we're pretty happy with it. Now last year we set up these blocks out here on the edge. And of course we can still move this a little bit to get these centered on the blocks but last year we actually put the blocks in and it took us about two days to put this pool in but this time it took us a lot less time so now that we've got the pool all set up i want to come back and kind of show you a couple of the details that we didn't show you close up on how to put the pool up so in assembling it you can see that these sleeves here of the liner have a metal rod that goes between between the T-sections. So those get slid in first and you put those all the way around and then you come back in and you put these T-sections in. And the T-sections go in each of these bars that go into the sleeves and then you've got two pins that hold it in and they're just plastic pins they just snap in place and then you put the leg in and of course the leg has got its own snap-in portion as well. So this is really easy assembly. The only hard part is getting the last T-section. You kind of got to move the pool around some Got to kind of jiggle it back and forth and kind of stretch it a little bit just to get it in that last section when the, once that goes in you're good to go and like we did in the pool when we were setting it up we set up every other leg and that makes it a lot easier to maneuver it if you have to move it around before you start putting water in it so as you can see we've got it all filled up and we're about ready to check out the pump so this is the intex pump that we bought and sand filter we decided to go with the salt water system rather than using just a chlorinated system that came with the summer waves pool. And we had to make a couple of modifications to this to get it to work. And we had to buy, we had to buy a reducer piece for each of these pipes, one there on the inlet and this is the outlet on the other side. And then we bought these two flexible connections from Lowe's. So you've got the inlet filter, I think you can see it there, inlet filter. And then it's got its own little basket filter. And then of course the sand filter itself. And then this is the salt water chlorination system. So you see it's working there. And of course the outlet side. So other than the fittings that we had to buy, it's pretty much a standard setup for the Intex. And it works really great. Really, it does a really good job. We put about three bags of salt, three and a half to four bags of salt in this. And we also put a uh, bag of stabilizer by weight uh, for how much you're supposed to put in for this size pool. This is about an 8,000 gallon pool. So we base that on that and we've got our salt regulated and the pH is regulated and everything works really good. So you can see this is really easy to set up. 
This was not a difficult pool to assemble and put together. Most of the time that we took was actually setting up the area around the pool to set the pool on and then getting it level. And I'll show some slides of the different things that we did last year to set the pool up here in the yard. So to recap our steps that we did in setting up our Summer Waves Elite Frame Pool. First, we squared out the pool area two feet larger than the pool on all four sides and we showed a center point. Second step is we rented a sod cutter and removed all the sod from the area. Step three, we leveled the dirt, removed all the debris. Step four, we added a thin layer of sand. Step five, we added the pool pad underneath where the pool would be. Step six, laid the pool out in the sun to allow it to be more pliable. Step seven, set pool on pool pad, making sure that the inlet and outlet ports are in the correct position according to your power and where your pump is going to sit. Step eight, insert the metal poles through the sleeves in the pool liner. Step 9, insert the T-sections all the way around and add snap-in pins. Step 10, start inserting the legs every other one until the pool is upright. Step 11, check alignment on the concrete blocks. Step 12, once satisfied with alignment, add the remaining legs. Step 13, recheck the alignment and start adding about two inches of water into the pool. Step 14, work internal wrinkles out to the edges so the bottom is smooth. Step 15, attach inlet and outlet fittings to the pool liner. Step 16, attach pump and filter. Step 17, complete filling pool. Step 18, back flush the sand filter. Step 19, set pump to circulate and begin adding salt and stabilizer. Step 20, set pump to filter once all salt is added and initiate the chlorinization sequence. Step 21, swim and enjoy. Check your salinity and your pH levels often to make sure they're correct.